Hey guys, it's Mommy Tang. What's up, Tang Gang? I'm sure if you saw my title today, I have a guest. If you're vegan and you follow a lot of the YouTubers, I'm sure you know who she is. But if you're not vegan, then you might not know who she is. In YouTube world, the vegan world, uh, there are many queens and kings and goddesses and you know angels and stuff like that. Potato Queen is here today with us. She's a potato queen. Are you ready to meet her? Oh. And her husband? Bob the Builder, I say. <laughs> Are you ready to meet her? Up <laughs> So I have Hannah, high carb Hannah here. Oh my gosh, we've been planning this for pretty long, right? Well, I don't know. Yeah, like a couple of months. Okay, a couple, couple months. months. Since we met in New York. Yeah, I want her to make, I want her to make something, uh, one of her, I guess, really uh, famous signature, signature uh, recipe, I guess, from your ebook. It's just, um, it's like our go-to meal. Do you so eat the, Yeah. Do you eat this a lot at home? Yeah. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, and oh my gosh, I just met her, well, I met her in New York, I'm sure you guys saw the vlog, and I also met her yesterday, but Hannah has this strange power to make people really mellow around her. You know, I'm like, you be really hyper stuff, but she gets you like, really like, kind of like, makes you kind of look into life like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the first thing what we're gonna do is make rice, right? Can you use any type of rice? Yeah, we basically, the reason that we eat this so much is because we always just have rice mm -hmm. like at our house right and then we usually just have leftovers in the fridge mm -hmm. and we're really lazy so we just basically like cook a huge instant pot full of stuff and i don't know this could be like whatever you want like she says like do whatever you want but yeah. like we put leftovers on it beans on it corn on it mm -hmm. there's like this dressing that we'll make that's just a ranch vegan dressing that sounds really interesting, but like, can you use any type of rice? Yeah. Yeah? So, okay. So, we well, like wild rice would be weird, but you could use brown rice, jasmine rice, mm -hmm. black rice. Yeah. And after, rice. so you want to make rice, and then you want to, uh, pretty much that's it, right? Cooking, as cooking is, yeah. is involved. And then you could um, make sauce, that's what we're going to do today. Right you now. You kind of want to use like room temperature rice. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what do we do with the sauce? So the sauce, sauce, I don't really have exact ingredients, but I have this recipe on our website, so like you can go there and get it for free. But, what am I saying? <laughs> I don't know the measurements. <laughs> okay, the first ingredient. Hemp seeds. Yeah. So you could use hemp seeds, you can use cashews. Ooh. I mean, you can use non, like toasted hemp seeds, but if mm -hmm. you use Roasted cashews are like roasted hemp seeds. It's mm -hmm. not going to be as creamy. Mm -hmm. If you want to make it like creamy, 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 maybe you could have. You'd want to like soak it. Yeah. Probably. Maybe do both. Yeah. yeah. But hemp seeds, like if you, like they kind of have a cheesy smell. They do. Yeah. So, but some people don't like the uh, the. Mm, I don't it's know. It's not like a cheese, but it's yeah. like it's a vegan cheese smell. All it's right. not like cheese, cheese. You know, yeah. like nasty cheese. Do you need water first? Well, we'll just put like yeah. some hemp seeds in here. So she's making it for three of us. Probably. Me. Yeah. And then the kids can have some. Yeah, me, <laughs> potato queen, and Bob potato the builder. <laughs> <laughs> so this is probably like, what do you say, half cup? Yeah. Half a cup of hemp seeds. And you kind of want like your water hemp seed <gasps> ratio to be the same. Yeah. But if you screw up and you add too much water and it's too runny, then you just add more hemp seeds. All right. And then water? Yeah. I kind of add it at the end, but that's good. Oops. That's good. That's good. <laughs> lemon. What do we do? Probably just like half a lemon. Half a lemon? Alright. Oh, we need like soy sauce or something. Alright, so is this lemon juice? Yeah, so just like the juice of half a lemon. Can you use like not the fresh juice, but you know how like sometimes they sell? Yeah. Like the lime? How about lime? What do you think? Lime? You could use lime. You just want like acidity in it. So you could even use apple cider vinegar. Mm. But maybe just like a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Oh. Yeah, get that. <laughs> right. 
So we're gonna add like a little bit of soy sauce to this just because if you have dressings that are really like fatty and they don't have any salt in them, they like, it just, <laughs> it's not Jane off, Jane is helping us. This doesn't oh. work. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So just like a teeny, I say stop. Teeny bit. There. Wow. We just wanted to like bring out the flavor, mm -hmm. you know? But you know, a burrito bowl is Mexican kind of, no? You could use salt, yeah. but, but it gives you the flavor. Well, vegan, we could use it pretty much. I don't even have salt in my house right? anymore. Yeah. Oh, we don't need that. Other we need, so that no. we need dill. dill. Guys, you're see, I should have guests more often in my sh in my mukbang, you know, because I'm get to eat all this food. I'm always she, eating she's, like she's like you can cook for me. She's doing all the cooking. <laughs> How does that even work? <laughs> I'm just like explaining. <laughs> and what do, what do you do? Just so do I always this? use no. I just use I I always use dried dill though. So mm. this is a guessing game, but okay, but that's good. That's it. We'll, we'll, we'll try it. Yeah. Okay. But dry dill, probably like a teaspoon. Like I said, I don't even know the ingredients, like off, like measurements. Just teeny, teeny bit, she said. Listen to the potato queen. That's good. Do we need one more? Something no, that's good. <coughs> Are we done yet? <laughs> Do you have some sesame seeds? <laughs> no. <laughs> This, this has a lot of protein though. Yeah. Have okay, that's it? That's it? And then you blend it up? Yeah. Okay. We'll see how it goes. Jada, we need your help, okay? Thank you. Over there, you can plug it in and help blend it for us. He's gonna blend it? Yeah. <laughs> well, we can just pour it on top of it. <gasps> for real. Is it good? Mm. Why does it taste so like not vegan? <laughs> oh my god, it smells so good. Look at that. It's so creamy. Oh. Yeah. And Caesar's dressing, like Caesar salad dressing, kind of? Yeah. Like Parmesan, I don't know. You could put nutritional yeast in it and it'd be like cheese. Oh my god, that's so crazy. I'm gonna do some chop. Do you want to do chopping or should I do chopping? I can chop. Oh. Should we? Yeah. You're supposed to, this is supposed to be your day off. I'm supposed to be doing <laughs> I don't know. We just need like a little bit of onion for like, yeah. You know, you want onion like on your burrito, right? Burrito bowl. So we'll just do like half. I never get this really. You know, I'm always chopping. It's mommy Tang's day. Cleaning or something, but. <laughs> you have like the she best likes. knives. Everybody's always like, how do you chop so good? It's like, your knives are so sharp. <laughs> Like, my knives are so sharp. Really? Yeah. What do you use? What, do, what kind of knife do you use? I don't know. I use this cheap knife from Target, but <laughs> I sharpen them, so they're really sharp. Oh. Do you sharpen yours? Yeah. Like that. We can just put this on top. You don't have to put it on top, though. Like, you don't have to have it, because, you know, you have the hemp seed dressing, right? We'll put that on top. Cilantro. Well, we yeah. should start, like, making the base of it, so we can chop up the... Lettuce. We'll chop up the, the lettuce. Give me lettuce. Do I have hemp seeds on my yeah. face? No, For like the base of this, it's gonna be, um, well the base base is gonna be rice. Mm -hmm. Do we have the rice yet? Yeah, right here. Oh, okay. And then we're just gonna chop up some lettuce to like put on the sides of it. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to have lettuce if you don't want to. It's just nice to get your greens in. Get the mm -hmm. veggies in. Should I do all of it? Yeah, because we'll just split it between the yeah. three of us. Do you cut it thin, small, large? Just like that. This is so healthy. Wow. How okay. So Hannah, you did the uh, the 30 day no salt challenge, right? Yeah. Tell no us salt. about it. I know these. You, <laughs> she talks about it more, and you could follow her channel and show. What did I say? Did I say something else? No. <laughs> and then um, and uh, she talks about it. It's really interesting. But yeah, tell them a little bit about it. I just cut salt out of my diet for 30 days because we like I already eat no oil and like I don't really eat sugar because I don't really like sugar. Like for breakfast today we had rice and kimchi and yeah. Like we don't eat smoothies. Derek and I we don't eat smoothies, we don't really eat oatmeal, like we just don't yeah. we don't like sweet stuff. So, so like would you say you're like starch based? Yeah. 
vegan. Yeah, all yeah. starch, just like rice, potatoes. And just eating that way, I've like easily lost almost 60 pounds. Wow. What's, wait, what's the whole total of weight, the amount that, I mean, how many pounds did you lose? Stop I think I gained like five pounds since I've been here. <laughs> Um, so I went from like 188 to like about 135 and then when I did the no salt yeah. thing because my problem was like I was just overeating like mm -hmm. because I put so much salt in my food. So I wanted to cut it out and just see what would happen mm -hmm. and I think I was just very, very, very like... But do you think you could eat like no salt for the rest of your life? No, no, like no. Like that? No. no? At home, yeah. I'll eat no salt like... I won't add salt to my food and stuff like that because now like just a little bit of salt I'm like that's, that's enough you and know? you don't really eat out either because if you eat out yeah. a lot it's really hard to like not eat salt yeah you know like I eat out a lot and Korean food is all yeah. salt so I was like uh oh when she was coming I was like what are you gonna do and she was like I'll eat salt because I'm not at home I was like good yeah <laughs> it would be it'd be hard like in a restaurant is this too big no it's good all right It'd be hard eating out and eating, because then it's like you're eating vegan and then you're eating no salt. Like you can barely get no oil. Yeah. You know. Look at that. And when you go to restaurants, like you want to be able to eat like their vegan dishes and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know. You don't want to be like, oh, I just want plain ri white rice and some steamed vegetables or something like. So we have rice. I made this rice slap well, this morning. Yeah. But um, it's white rice with some wild rice in it so it looks kind of the color is a little off but it's the same thing you can use any rice right all right so we'll just add stuff into here mm -hmm. so basically like the base is rice and then we have beans and corn okay hold up that will just so what kind of can you use any type of beans or you could use yeah like you could use black beans chili beans kidney beans pinto beans refried beans like whatever kind of beans mm -hmm. And then we'll just There's seeds in there. Does it see it? The lemon seed. <laughs> All right. This one's Derek, so we'll make it. We'll make it bigger. Yeah. Dude eats a lot. Oh my gosh, Derek eats so much. I was like, and you know what? He's so much like. How do you say? It? No, I don't want to say bigger, but bigger. Bigger. Like bigger. I think he's like broad. <laughs> he has like broad shoulder, and he's like pretty. He was very fit and he's like tall but i don't know for some reason i just thought that he was like a lot skinnier but he's not a skinny guy no he's like, skinny well he's skinny but not as in like like skinny skinny scrawny, you know skinny, there's scrawny like, skinny. he's not like that you know well he used to so when he was like really hardcore into cycling and stuff he mm -hmm. weighed he weighed 30 pounds like no 25 pounds less than he less? does now and yeah. he was like skinny sk like scrawny yeah scary, not skinny. any no when i saw him i was like wow he was even when I first met him, I'm like, you are so skinny. Like, I gotta put some weight on this <laughs> Like, Corn, right? Yeah. So I basically, we just buy the frozen corn mm -hmm. and just put it in a strainer. We also rinse the beans really well because, like I was telling Mommy Tang, uh -huh. if you get really bad gas from beans, it's because you don't rinse them. So, like, when you rinse them, you see all these bubbles and all this stuff that's, like, just from preserving it in the mm -hmm. can. That's what gives you gas. So just rinse them really, really, really well, and then you won't get... Gas. Then we'll add just this stuff into here. All right. Lettuce, tomato. Is that onion on there? Yeah. Like we always, our staple food is just leftovers. So how many times would you you eat this at home? Like every day. Wow. <laughs> this is like kimchi for them, you know. <laughs> well, yeah, because like in your house you just eat rice with mm -hmm. like nori and stuff like that. Like you're just eating rice with leftover soup right. or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like it's the same thing that we do, but we just. Like this is just a standard burrito bowl. Yeah, we, 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 were th we were thinking of doing something with uh, instant pot because she makes a lot of instant pot food too, but yeah. I don't it's have just, an instant pot. And I don't really know how to cook without an instant pot anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God, I could just already see it's gonna... And this looks so healthy. Like I told J my son, Jaden, I was like, I'm, I've never had burrito bowl. He was like, no, it's mm -hmm. like just like Chipotle, you know? And I was yeah. like, uh, yeah, but this is... I don't know. Chipotle is not chipotle. Oh, we didn't even chop up the cilantro. We need some cilantro. <laughs> you can just rip it too. Yeah, let's rip it. Derek doesn't actually like cilantro though, so we so, won't put it on Oh, you'll put it in this. this. I'll put it on mine. All right, so that's it. And then I just oh, yeah, pour dressing. this on top. Mm -hmm. this is, really is it really thick? thick? It's supposed to be it's like okay. that. 
Hold this make it like. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Yeah? Derek likes a lot. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So Ooh. good. So we're gonna make more for me and us, Hannah. And then, <laughs> and then we'll do mukbang. Are you ready for the mukbang? I feel like this is a really mellow video. <laughs> nice. And kombucha? Yeah. Oh my god. First day. Oh wait, yeah. Guys, I'm telling you, we were just off the camera. Me and Hedda were like, oh my gosh. She was like, this video is so mellow. I'm telling you, they have this like magic. Yeah. They have this magic power to can make the mood fun? like really like. Can I, can I fun? We're just very chill <laughs> people. Like people always we don't have like we don't have a YouTube personality, you know? Yeah, and then like it was if I'm hyper, they're, they're gonna look at me like what's wrong with mommy saying, you know? So here, let me just tip. Okay, I never had I don't know this up. Okay, I never actually I had kombucha once and I hated it. So I don't know. Can you do you shake it? Do, no no no. Um, oh, you don't shake no, it? I wouldn't you know, I wouldn't really shake it. Oh. Do you wanna try this one? You haven't had kombucha very often? No. Ooh. I had it once but I hated it so much that I never like people are so into kombucha and I'm just like whatever. Peppy, you wanna try oh my it? Oh my god! <gasps> I told you not to shake. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, gosh. oh, so it's like carbonated? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a fermented drink. <laughs> Mummy Tang has the best rice cooker ever. <laughs> yeah. Like, like it's it cooks it like I, I just don't know how it does oh, it. Oh that's all I'm gonna say. It cooks it perfectly and then it nice. keeps it warm all day. Oh, let's see. Yeah, this is something I can't buy. <laughs> that's what I that's what I thought the first time. He I thought, thought it tasted like ass like the first few times. It's yeah, it this tasted is really small. bad. Okay. The first it's few like times. I'm gonna be honest, it's like beer mixed into vinegar with fruits. Yeah, it's good. Mm. <laughs> Woo! But I guess Jaden does not like it. Alcohol in this. What? Right? Like beer. Mm hmm there's like a tiny bit of alcohol in this. Oh really? They put alcohol in there? Like no, it's just through the fermentation. Like kimchi has alcohol in it. Like through the no. fermentation process, it has like. It actually is pretty good. I'm gonna it's try Hannah's famous, famous. So you just mix it. A burrito bowl. I'm like sweating. Actually, this is so pretty hot. good. I mean, it is, eh? Oh. Ooh, a. <laughs> You know, I'm from Canada too, so when your I hear kid, A... Your kids are, have already been bugging me about that. Oh, really? They're a? like, how long can you go without saying A? <laughs> I'm like, do I say it that often? Like but how long have you been here, though, in the States? Mm. What was it, September? Yeah. yeah. Nine or ten months, maybe? Yeah, that's why. You know, yeah. I've been here for over 15, so you lose it, you know? He's been lose here for a. like a year. No. Mm. This is very... Healthy. healthy. Very food. healthy burrito tasting. It's not, it's not like salty. Chipotle. You know, yeah. Chipotle is like, it's it's amazing, but after you feel a little bit. You know what I mean? There's a good amount of oil. Chipotle is so yeah. like salty and oily. Like yeah. they put oil in their rice. Yeah. Somebody said that you could ask for it without it, but I did once. They, I think then they have to like make it. Yeah, they said that they could only do it when they're, I guess, oh, cool. not enough. What? You like it? They don't like it. You like spicy sauce. Mmm. Yeah. Sriracha. Sriracha. Thanks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sriracha. Yeah. This makes mm. this makes the whole world better. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes though, when I put sriracha, it feels like. It, it feels like that you could like the whole thing just gets off because that's all you taste is sriracha. I don't like that sometimes. You yeah. know what I mean though? Yeah. Unless that like, you love sriracha. Like this boy right here. Man. Yeah, some people just go absolutely crazy with sriracha. Yeah. This is Meets, so like, amazing. It's like a little bit of flavor. But sriracha is like salt, like it makes everything better. <laughs> <laughs> 
And what's what I really like about the Hoi Farm one is that it's mm -hmm. actually an American company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, it's based in California. Yeah. And they don't do any advertising. There's no advertising for Hoi Fong. It's all been like word of mouth. And the funny thing is though, I asked, you know, I have a lot of Vietnamese friends, so I asked them, is this a Vietnamese thing? And they said no. It was a Vietnamese guy that who made it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, but they said it's not a Vietnamese sauce. Like I thought it was a Vietnamese, like gochujang is Korean sauce, you know? Right. Mm. Obviously, if you follow Hannah, I'm sure you guys follow Derek as well. And he has a YouTube channel called... Life Inside a Box. Uh-huh. She called you Bob the Builder. <laughs> that's, that's a fair assessment. Mm. He built the whole... Well, the inside is not done. The outside whole um tiny house almost like a trailer right or yeah. rv kind of thing what would it it would be considered to be classified as that uh -huh. um, but the inside will be furnished like any regular style house oh yeah um so it's it's tiny as in like it's only on a 24 foot trailer mm -hmm. and it's only eight and a half feet wide it's like 200 square 280 it'll be like 250 260 if you mm -hmm. include the uh, the living space with the loft and he built that all by himself without I, any help. Well, okay, Hannah's so. Girl. Hannah's <laughs> Hannah's <so. laughs> help. It's okay. Yeah. People be like, what do you do all day? Like, Derek's like building a house. It's like, I help. Like, maybe it's not on every vlog. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. But I help. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's been, uh, it's been such an awesome experience because I've always wanted to do it. And we finally just kind of uh, we just kind of pulled the trigger on it. Mm -hmm. And over the last, it's just been, I've done, I've, Done about 50 or so construction days on it over the last That's two and crazy. a half, three months. Yeah. And we have like a structure that looks like a house on the outside. Mm -hmm. And hopefully within the next month and a half, two months, we could actually live inside of it. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, people could also ask you like, why? Why a tiny house? Not why mm. not a home? Why? Well, like, I guess. A lot of reasons. Mm, there's <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of reasons. We're not. We don't need, you know, a lot of space for the two of us. We All just right. need something that's very um, minimal in size. But that's, and, well, sorry to interrupt you, but mm -hmm. that's one thing about, how long have you been vegan? Uh, Three, four and a half, four years, five yeah. years. So I have same with me, but I noticed that as, I guess the more deeper vegan lifestyle that you live, you start like letting go a lot of the yeah. stuff. You know what I mean? If you're vegan for like 10, 12, 15 years, I totally understand why they kind of live like almost like a hippie life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Because you want to get rid of all this. It's like baggage. Yeah. It's like just stuff that you have around. I remember when uh -huh. I was eating raw, I was like, I have to get rid of everything in my house. Mm -hmm. And I like gave away like half the stuff I owned because I just felt like it was just sitting there. And I, I had like, I remember I went to my kitchen and I had like two food processors and a George Foreman grill and like, all this stuff that I never ever used and I had mm. duplicates of everything and it's like, why do I even have this stuff? And even right now, you guys are traveling for how many days? Um, just about 10 Seven. days. Yeah, and they seriously uh, have such a small... That's alright, that's alright. Yeah. Seven there a, days. They have such a small bag. Usually like backpack. people carry... You know what I mean? They go to New York for two days and they have like luggage after luggage, but you guys just have like a tiny two bags, you know? And most mm. of it's camera gear. Yeah, I was like, where's the luggage? There's a zip, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> it's nice, it's yeah. nice that it's summer out as well, it's, it's, so it's a lot warmer. And you but it's not like Hannah much. is not like, you know what I mean? She still looks, you know, like a girl that would, you know what I mean? Well, we like, like a wedding, five. so everything <laughs> that I have brought with me, I, mm -hmm. it has to be like multi-purpose. Like, I have a dress for the wedding. And Are you gonna wear a suit? Did you put your suit um, away? I've got I've got a dress shirt and dress uh -huh. pants, the ones that I actually wore for our wedding. Right. Oh. Um, but yeah, I one, saw that one, by the way. One of the main reasons for the tiny house is just mm -hmm. the overall cost. That's what really attracts a lot of people to it. Mm -hmm. Is we'll end up spending twenty five, thirty thousand dollars on a house that we can live in, mm -hmm. um, pretty well full time. Uh, compared to, I think the average home price in America is probably somewhere between one hundred and fifty to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Right. So for, I would say a tiny house is much more applicable for maybe a young couple or even an older couple as well. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people who want to retire, they want to really simplify their life. They don't want to live in an RV or anything like that, so they go the tiny house route. You don't want to be in debt. Oh my God, you could be for anybody. I really yeah. think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, that's one thing that the tiny house will kind of force you to do is you have to be outside and doing stuff outside a little bit more because you don't always want to be inside. 
since it is a smaller space. No, we're probably gonna crash it. The tank in. We're gonna go over there and crash it when it's done. We're gonna kick them out. We're like, we need the house. <laughs> Did your life change after meeting Tara? Hannah? Yeah? What about you, Dara? Do you think it changed? Are you guys still adjusting Absolutely. to each other? I think it took us a while to kind of fully adjust because mm -hmm. she wasn't living with anybody. Mm -hmm. Then I moved in. Mm -hmm. And Were you living alone before that? I was living at my parents. Oh, okay. Um, but I lived alone for five years mm -hmm. before that. So bad I was just girl. like... <laughs> the bad girl. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I was just like, I don't know, everything he, he did annoyed the crap out of me. <laughs> yeah. They are... But we're like... Like, we're like... They are know, so similar. Like, me and I think Daddy Tang were so different. But they are very similar and it's almost like, um, what do you think? Do you guys think they're similar or just very different? And, and I would say that you, in the important ways they're similar. Yeah. Like we're both very like introverted, we're quiet, like, but we... Do you see how quiet I am? They're so quiet that it's getting me quiet. You know what I mean? <laughs> but we like to, we like to do the same things. Like we're both obviously vegan and YouTubers and yeah. we want to live like a minimal, simple life, but like... We're not the same in the spec that like I'm very ADHD, like very ADHD. Mm -hmm. Like I can't sit down for more than like an hour without being like I'm gonna spontaneously <laughs> combust. Uh huh. And Derek can sit there and just like yeah, I could work totally forever. See that. Like yeah, I could totally on the see computer that. and just be alone for like a week at a time and like do whatever. I'm like I gotta do this and I gotta go here and I gotta run around and I gotta like walk the dogs and I gotta like do that. Like and, but it's like good to have. Oh wait, sorry, sorry. I'll okay. Daddy Tang, Daddy Tang. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Right He'll do like all the things that I don't want to do. Like all the technical stuff with our website and like making our ebooks and like all that stuff. Oh my gosh. He like does all that. And I like to like cook and like mm -hmm. do all the pictures and creative stuff. And he's just like, I'm going to build this website and I'm going to build this house. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> what do you have to do for fun though? Like back at home. If you want to have a really fun day, what do you guys do? Probably go downtown or something. Yeah. And downtown. just like hang out. Either, I don't know, like hang out with friends or mm -hmm. traveling is probably the thing that we do when we want to like have fun. Tucson, Tucson is great for hiking as well. So we've done a number of like really awesome hikes there. Mm -hmm. And a really big mountain. getting outside. Um, we haven't been riding our bikes so much lately just because it's been really, really hot in Tucson. Right. Um, but we yeah. love riding our bike together. Tucson's great for cycling. Sorry about the mower and the grass cutting sound, but... So is this fun for you guys, staying with Mommy Tang? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's just, um... It's just a nice experience just to meet new people and... Mm -hmm. Especially like learning how... Um, Hang she, with the Tang gang. Um, makes her, makes the, the Korean food and stuff and mm -hmm. just seeing how all that goes together is really cool. Yeah, we tried to eat home cooked um, meal, breakfast and lunch, and then we're probably gonna go out for dinner, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And try all this Korean food. And she makes this cucumber kimchi. And these like peppers. Mm -hmm. I have to go home and like make all this stuff. <laughs> have you already posted those stuff on, on mm -mm. your channel? Oh. Mm -mm. You guys got some good stuff in the pipeline coming mm -hmm. up. Also, Hannah gave me, last time I met her, she gave me her, um, I think you gave me all, right? You're all your ebooks, right? <coughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, the ebook is seriously so beautiful. Um, her Instagram pictures are beautiful. My Instagram is like, you know. <laughs> but, they're just yeah. from my ebook, though, like the photos. Yeah, so they're so beautiful. And it's just the way Derek did the, uh, the building of it, you know? And so, what you guys want, I think there's a special code for you guys, right? Just for the Tang Gang, if you want 20% off any of our recipe ebooks, um, just when you're checking out, just input the code Tang Gang, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll give you 20% off. You guys are done. I mean, I'm usually the quickest eater. What's it's so good. This is a mukbang, right? Look at this, look at my ball. Okay, look at Hannah's ball. Look at Derek's ball! He did have the most food. <laughs> I think it's funny, like, I always watch Mommy Tang's mukbangs and I uh -huh. always just think that you're like in here alone and like the kids are running in and out. Mm -hmm. They're all just like sitting here mm -hmm. watching, it's like we have an audience, like, mm -hmm. what's up, Kayla? Oh. And please tell them, do I feed my kids? Oh my god, these kids eat so much. Like, <laughs> the best eaters ever. And uh -huh. they're literally like the best 
We're, I don't have a ton of exposure to kids. Well, I do because I actually worked in like a summer camp for mm -hmm. like an entire summer and mm -hmm. like it was a nightmare. But like these kids are like the best kids I've ever seen. Well being. Like right? Jaden gave up his room for us and like cleaned <laughs> his whole room and like he was like, yeah, I'm so excited. And I'm like, yeah. most kids would be like, they're not staying in my room. Mm -hmm. No way. No, 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 no. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. They're just the nicest kids. And they're so yeah. nice too. Oh my gosh. Like, they are. Yeah, I don't really meet. Okay, actually, I can't really trust a lot of social media, like people that you meet social media. I don't know about you guys, because you guys are a lot younger, some of the viewers, but I'm old, you know? And even when I was growing up, my school friends, like meeting somebody through social media was kind of like not a common thing. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Like you guys met yeah. through social media, right? Yeah, yeah. we met on YouTube, yeah. so. I mean, they were, I mean, it's like they're like, they're like so good together, you know? It's, it's amazing. It's like when I look at them, it's like, I can't even look at her just as hers. <laughs> what? <laughs> it has to be together, Aww. you know? Kayla, Kayla said we don't look like we're married, we look like we're no? dating. Yeah. She thinks we're like 20. They look, they look, I'm gonna yeah, more time from this. She thinks we're like 19. We're not. We're not and you know what? As far as, but you're not trying to lose any weight and you're still, I'm trying, you know, I think I just feel like unless you're like skinny, skinny person, girls are always trying to lose weight a little bit, right? I think especially when like your, your entire YouTube channel is about health yeah. and fitness. So what is the main advice for girls that want to lose weight? Vegan or, I mean, of course you could say go vegan, you know, but I would like say broad, like the best advice yeah. would be to eat the cleanest food that you can. I'll but like it. just eat, <laughs> eating like the food as close to its natural state as possible. So even yeah. if you eat, you know, like meat or dairy or like junk food and stuff, just like you don't really have to cut it completely out of your life just put more of like the good stuff in so eat more greens and vegetables and fruits and whole starches that you just like bake in the oven and eat with like this would be totally a good meal to eat like it feels yeah. like it doesn't feel like it's like super super healthy or like you're deprived at all you know mm -hmm. like it's filling and it's tasty and it's not like but it's a lot better than chipotle or something i always like say if you want to lose weight eat simple just like whatever very you're simple. Eating, right? simple. And people always think like, oh, you know, you cook all these extravagant meals and like mm -hmm. it's like we eat the same thing every single day. Like literally. Yeah. The same thing. We have rice for breakfast. I think but that's how and like that's you, how you become successful. If I look at any like even my friends, anybody that are very successful, they repeat their things like like very, even in business or anything. Yeah, you just have to just be consistent and be just be simple yeah. and just keep on doing whatever you like and just if you're just all over the place doing this and this it doesn't work yeah. same with diet i think right yeah. yeah and i mean people think like that you have to have all these like amazing meals and stuff but mm -hmm. people eat the same thing like even people that aren't dieting they eat the same thing every day they're mm -hmm. like well, i'm gonna wake up and like have coffee and go to mcdonald's before i go to work mm -hmm. and then i'm gonna have a sandwich for lunch and then i'm gonna go home and like have the same five dinners that my wife makes every single week right. like people eat the same thing every single day that's true it's also important that even though you do the same thing, it's good to try all this different thing yeah. within that right. simpleness. Mm -hmm. And know? not just be like, oh, I can never have this or I can never have that. It's just like make 90% of your food mm -hmm. or whatever, like the bulk of what you have. Like at home, if you want to eat really, really clean and stuff, like get all the junk food and like stuff out of your house. Mm -hmm. But then don't say like, I'm never going to go out to eat, you know, because then you're just going to like crash and burn, mm -hmm. you know? So like go out to eat with your friends and have a meal outside of the house or like, you know, yeah. but just keep it clean at home. Oh, yeah, I'm just so keep funny. it as, especially just keep it as clean as possible. Minimize the salt, the oil, and the sugar, Yeah. but don't totally just say, I'm never going to eat that. Have it, you yeah. know, every once in a while, almost like a treat. Allow yourself a treat. And then um, you might honestly find that your taste buds are like totally mm -hmm. just mm. change. Like, when I was eating like a ton of salt and I started eating no salt, I was mm -hmm. like, this tastes freaking terrible. Like, like I can't some, eat yeah. this, this is so bland. Even for some people, this, they might find this very bland. Like, oh my gosh, mm. bland, yeah. you know what I mean? But for me, it was so much flavor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? And yeah, have the flavor come from your food and stuff. But whenever you try something new, like at least do it for like, <laughs> this is too much flavor for me. You gotta do it for yeah. like two weeks or a month and be really consistent and then mm -hmm. And then try like something different or like try some chips and you might be like this, this, like I can't eat chips anymore. Yeah. They're just way too salty. Yeah. A lot and of an, another good thing, especially like with this type of meal here mm -hmm. 
is that there's so many different textures within the food. So mm -hmm. there's the rice, there's the uh, tomatoes and the lettuce and the corn and the beans. Mm -hmm. So there's all these different textures which makes it a lot more enjoyable as opposed to just eating like a bowl of rice where it's just the same thing. Yeah. You can get in those different textures and like there's not like a ton of flavor with some of the, uh, the vegetables but it just gives you that different texture and that makes it really enjoyable yeah, as well. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Kayla looks like a zombie just staring. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So before we go, oh my god, you know how I feel about girls with tattoo, right? Because I don't have any. So when I see girls with tattoo, I just get like, <gasps> you know what I mean? Oh gosh. So Hannah has. Do you want to show you a cookie? I think you have some. I have tattoo. Look how beautiful that is. So what vegan. Is vegan. You gotta kind of reach out and show them. Is that is that what you have? And then I have this one that says. It's like an ambigram, so one way it says believe, and then the yeah. other way, like if you look at it upside yeah. down, it says dream. Oh, let me see, let me see. Oh, wow. So this way it says believe. Did it hurt? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Let me see Derek. Yeah. Derek has a couple, so. I have so. this what one right say? here. It says love is better than anger, mm -hmm. hope is better than fear, optimism is better than despair. Oh. So, and then the yeah. other one. It's just vegan on my finger there. Yeah. Is this before you met her? Yeah. Or was it all before? Do you have anything like together? Like no, no tattoos together. <laughs> we've we've joked about some, but really? Yeah. You should get one. No. You, you know, some people they do rings and stuff like that. You know, like I love. We got we got rings. So. I feel like I feel like that's just it's just bad luck to do that. I yeah. really want. Yeah. yeah. Get like right Derek now. around my finger, and then it's like. Yeah. Is that you have more tattoos? Do you have mm -hmm. more? Do you have more like on your legs or something? I have one on my back, but oh. I'm not gonna show it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you guys want her back again, let me know, you know? Because she's well, gonna how, come visit us. Yeah, how far do you, is it from here? Tucson? Yeah, like five, five hours. Six yeah. hours. Yeah. Five yeah. to six hours. So I got really, I got really lucky because they're on their way to Canada, but I'm sure you don't go back to Canada again, right? They'll come, yeah. you'll come and visit again. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, and if you want to see a little bit of mellow side in Mami Tang, this is what you yep. have to get, okay? This is what you have to call because the whole time they're here, I'm just like, yes, and now you're right. <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, I'm like, wow, ah! all over the kids, and I'm just yep. like, mm hmm. <laughs> so, anyways, thank you guys. Bye, Tegan. Bye. Bye.